So I'm making a cabinet up here that's going to have a microwave and then kind of a coffee cuppy. It's got cups and that kind of thing. It'll be more clear when I make it. So I do it the same way as always. I just get a piece of cardboard. This is cardboard from the solar panels. So there's, it's uh, nice and thick and it's kind of like almost wood. So I use woodworking tools to cut it. And you just, there's no magic to it. You just have to kind of keep putting it up there and take off a little bit and take off a little bit. And if you go too far, you just start with another piece of cardboard. But it, it kind of just gets wiener down and wiener down until, it, until in time, you can put it up there and it makes a, makes a nice contour of the wall. And then if I put the uh, gauge on it, then it's, it's plumb. So remember, the floor is level, so this is plumb. So outside on the van right now are two jacks holding this edge up, of it up. Recall, I don't care about this level. I just want it. I just want it to be level this way. Um, so um, it doesn't matter if the van's pointing downhill a little bit. Um, so you just kind of go back and forth and back and forth until you get a nice plumb uh, uh, line there. Okay. So now that I have this template, I'll uh, go transfer that onto one half inch plywood and then start to work on the cross pieces. And hopefully it fits. Okay, so there's the rough cabinet. So this is going to be where the coffee goes and the uh, microwave goes right here. I have a top nailer and I have a nailer uh, right here that's going to tie into that piece of wood strip that I had. It's also going to sit right on that cubby. So I'll through shoot some, some nails in and just, just move that there too. So let's put it in there and see if we can screw it down. Okay, so all that's going to need then is a face frame, and I'm going to put some uh, uh, that real thin nap uh, just carpeting that you put in cabinets. It looks nice and it doesn't vibrate in. And it's nice. So, so the reason we went with this style, and it's all an experiment, is that last time with the last van we had a coffee cabinet right here, which had coffee and cups and that kind of thing, and then a microwave right here, which put the corner of the microwave like right out here. So it cut down on the counter space, you know, you're kind of looking down into the cabinet, the, the, like the top right here. And my wife was always hitting her head on the corner, so that's not, that's not good. So, yeah, this does kind of cut down your counter space here. I've got a deeper cabinet I'm going to put in now. I'm going to put, it, put in a 20-inch cabinet in, you know, instead of a 20. Or like, I put a 16 in the sprinter, so there wasn't much counter space to start with. Um, so you shouldn't hit your head on that. The one, the one thing that's weird is it kind of comes into the bed, but that's, you know, <laughs> there's only so much room. Um, so face frame and then start on the two bank of drawers right there and then uh, the fridge cabinet. And then we'll wind it up <laughs> another month probably. Okay, so there's the finished uh, cabinet with the face frame and the microwave. I just put some basically carpeting in, inside. It really cuts down on the vibration and the chatter. And up here I'll put some more some decarpeting too. And uh, that's it. So just to show you again, this is just a square piece of cardboard. It's cut out to the rough dimensions of what I'm going to have this. Uh, this is a DVD cabinet uh, that's going to hold uh, just DVDs here and then books right here. So the first uh, line is right here, so you can see, you know, way off. <laughs> so, so what you can do is just start to, to um, get rid of some of the obvious excess, and then it just starts to wiener, whittle itself down into the spot, okay? So that's better. You can kind of start to see some of the shape coming up there. So now I have a compass, and you just set that to the widest part. Now, it's got to be plumb, so that helps if, if you can plumb it up first. 
So I'm watching the little bubble. And that gives me kind of a way I can figure out this, uh, this contour. So then I'll go cut that out. Okay, so that's a little bit better. So now I just keep, you just keep going. I'm watching the, the uh, little bubble to make sure it's plumb. And, and you go cut it off again. And I'll probably mess this one up and you have to make it again, but every time you do it, it gets a little bit more refined. So that's better. <clears throat> so I'll probably start to use like a belt sander to do really fine adjustments. You're talking like a 32nd of an inch. So I've kind of got this uh, this contour down. So now I start to work on the top contour. And I just, just set the compass to the widest spot and then draw that out. And then cut that off. So that's pretty good. Uh, usually somewhere along the line I lose the, I just whittle it down so far that I lose how big I want the box to be. Then I have to trace this on a piece of new cardboard and say, add one half inch to here or uh, some to there, but that contour is always the same. So there's the just finished contour and it's plumb, but now it's about one half inch short. I made a little mark of how big I want the cabinet to come down to. So I'll go trace this on a new piece of cardboard and add this length to the bottom and it's okay this, uh, this width. So here's my new piece of cardboard. See how that fits? needs just a little bit right here, so I'll take the belt sander to that. It takes time, remember? <laughs> so that is perfection. That's one down, so I have three to go, or no, two more to go. So it does fit the contour here. It's got the right dimension I want along this edge. It's got the right dimension I want along that edge. It catches this piece of wood, so I'll have a, 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 a just a, a one by two right there that I'll drill right into, into this piece of wood. And I'll catch, you can see my marks for the big struts up in here. So I'll catch all those struts here, and, then, and, and I'll catch a strut here, and there, and that ain't going nowhere. Um, it's not an easy job to do this stuff, you know. I was, uh, I just bought my first house, this is like 30 years ago. And um, I was working on the gutters, and this old contractor uh, who lived next to us drives up, and, and I was telling him about how tough it is uh, to do all this, and, and um, just, I'll always remember his words. Someone must have told you this is easy. <laughs> I think of that line at least uh, each day. Someone must have told you this is easy. It's not easy, and there's a reason why vans cost a lot of money because it's very labor intensive. But, you know, I've got the time, so it is what it is. So then here's the next spot it's gonna, there, that there's gonna be a, a uh, cross member. And hey, look at that, it's pretty close. <laughs> Woohoo! So I can make two. Let's see if we can do, do three. So that one's, you know, close enough. I, I think I'm going to be able to just make three copies of this. So there are the rough cut pieces of uh, uh, that, I, that I drew right off of that cardboard template. I just cut it rough and then I finish it up on the table saw. I feel like I can do a lot better job just freehanding it than I could with anything else. So there, there they are uh, with the edges pretty much done. I, what I do is I leave the line um, and then I'll, I'll just belt sand that to where it just gets rid of the line. So there's the rough cabinet. Now I need to put the little cross uh, uh, boards on here and here and down here that I'm gonna use as, as nailers. So there it is with the cross um, wood in place so I do kind of let it into the wood so I use that I do that with a little uh, tool so these things are invaluable for doing work like this um, so I'll put it up there and see how it fits hey that's pretty nice I'll take it now I make marks where the uh, roof struts are going, 
So I'll pre-drill those holes. So I'm going to screw here, 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 and then here. And then put the face frame on and start building that cabinet down there. Okay, so there's the finished box. So um, all this gets verithane. Um, so now I'm going to build the two bank of drawers here that are going to hold our clothes and toiletries and that kind of thing. So this is my grab bar. What it consists, it was just an old grab bar that I had had laying around the shop. So what you do is you just take and pull off this, <laughs> pull off this bit of trim. And you can see I put a one half inch piece of, of uh, plywood and it bolts right into this part of the frame. Um, same thing down, down here. Now before you go screwing the big long screw, you always want to look, you know, you can pull it parts out and kind of looking looking in back of that to make sure there's not a piece of wire like right there um, but that's pretty much it uh, some self-tapping screws and bada boom bada bing <laughs>